That's like being potty trained at 35,000 feet, right? Are you going pee pee? Way before this craziness with COVID-19 started, in September 2019, we flew home to New Zealand. Our first leg was LAX to Sydney, 15 hour flight. And uh, here's the way we managed it with a two and a half year old and some of our tips. But uh, before we get started, we gotta have some food first. So one thing that uh, you need to have when traveling with a toddler is uh, lounge access. Uh, Priority Pass also would give you um, credit. This was like $60 to restaurants in different parts of um, airports around the world. Ready to eat? We just gotta make sure we don't miss our flight. It's not so funny anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you missed it. Once you've done it once, <laughs> sitting in a lamb. You're hungry. Daddy, Papa. Yeah, that lamb has a backpack. Yeah, that happened to us in Lisbon, Portugal. These lounges also give you um, free drinks. It's not going to work for you. Those are chopsticks. It's not a straw. But good try. Good, good effort. Here's one helpful tip about Pridey Pass. American Express does not give you food credit at yes. restaurants anymore. Enjoy everything. Thank, Thank you. you. That looks really healthy. It does. Love the look of mine. Good to be a vegetarian. Adelon, what do you think? That good, huh? Come on. Oh. Just looking up there. Mama, eat. Mom. get some water this tip is super important for a 15-hour flight they never seem to give you enough water and it's always nice to have water there next to you and that way you don't have to get up and ask for it and it helps you get stay hydrated and it helps with jet lag uh, we're gonna be late Ah, oh, looks like our plane's not here. That's a bummer. You ready for a sh short flight to New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah? Walk. Yeah. Walk. To adopt yeah. a brace position. Place both feet together. Lean forward. Holding your arms on the seat in front of you. And fold your arms on the tray table. Then rest your hand on your arms. No, not you, mate. Eight. You want to eat? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming, sweetheart. You ready? I'm going to be asleep with all the I know. She's having too much fun. Sweetheart, we have to put this back, though. No, no, listen, honey. Honey. I know, I know. We're going to eat. We're going to eat. times I've flown out of LAX it never gets old to just uh, go down that uh, taxiway and at night and seeing all the lights and just uh, turning around and taking off out uh, towards the Pacific Ocean okay this is one of those things that you definitely need to have if you're gonna be flying a long-haul flight and uh, you want uh, your little one to be able to sleep just Google um, inflatable travel foot rest pillow and this is what you get. Are you reading the safety instructions? Can you tell us what to do on the water evacuation? Now, I don't know if you saw that in the beginning of the video, but it actually took a lot of energy and air to pump that thing up because you're traveling at 8,000 feet. So 
so there's uh, very little of oxygen there in the cabinet so you really have to uh, put a lot of effort to blow one of those things up but what's helpful is if you get a window seat as you can see it's uh, really comfortable if you're just right there by the window and then you just kind of put a blanket and have yourself a little bed <music> Yeah, make sure you get everything out of the way before you put that pillow, stuff it in there in the corner. I thought uh, I left the water somewhere down there, but actually it turned out to be uh, above us. So my wife, poor wife, went digging around there for no reason. Poor Adeline, she was just so overtired. It took her a little bit of time to settle down and go to sleep but uh, that uh, pillow bed was awesome. How'd you sleep, Emma? Did you sleep good? Mm. Let's see what's out there. It's so like being potty trained at 35,000 feet, right? Are you going pee pee? Here's another helpful tip if uh, one of the parents wants to be a vegetarian or have a different meal during the flight they'll get served first and um, that way one parent could eat and uh, once they serve the food for everybody else um, one parent's already done eating so then you don't have both parents trying to eat at the same time in our situation it was uh, good because my wife and daughter are both vegetarian so they got served first so once my wife and daughter finished eating i got served and it uh it just kind of helps what do you see down there Evelyn? <laughs> we, for this leg of the flight we flew with virgin australia it was the first time i ever flown with them and i have to say the service was great Food was really good actually for airplane food and overall I think they were a pretty good airline to fly with. The airline pretty much went bankrupt because of COVID-19 but it was kind of nice to see that uh, they're trying to build up their fleet again and uh, hopefully that air travel is going to start picking up in 2021 and 2022. We made it! No? We're good! Okay. I know, it's good. She loves to walk on her own. Okay, stroller, there it is. That's how easy it is. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. And like always, please have a safe travel. Thank you for watching.